Welcome back, everybody. This is SBX 2024. I'm Rusty. I'm Joe, and with us today... I'm Idio. Idio, welcome. Welcome to the interview chair. What, what, what kind of comics you got to talk about? Well, normally I make comics about fish and bugs and lesbians, but I thought it would be more fun to bring some of my sillier work up today. Awesome. Okay. Um, so should I should I hand these to you? Well, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, just... what I'll do is I'll take some photos and we can throw them on the screen here. We'll get some like good close-ups for the camera. Okay. So, so you have two comics um, here? Yeah, so these are a series of comics. Uh, this is the Roadgasm and the Traingasm. Um, this is awesome. I see, I see that there's a common theme here. Yeah, yes. essentially what I've been doing is every time a vehicle upsets me, I ah. have been... I have made a little zine about a guy who is having an orgasm in that said vehicle. Um, so how does, genius. I appreciate the pettiness. <laughs> yes. But how does that? How, what is it about that that makes it satisfying to to put that person in that position? Well, the way this started was a, a joke with my old roommate, in which instead of getting mad at people who were driving real bad. Uh, we used to pretend that they were jerking off in their cars, um, and that's why they were driving so badly. And we, uh, we invented a device called the Roadgasm for it. Um, a device? A device. It yes. is a device. Okay. Uh, it's a machine of unspecified nature. Uh, that is getting the driver, always the driver, uh, of the vehicle off. Not the, not the passenger. Not never the passenger? Sometimes it's the passenger, okay, but yeah. usually it's in But at least the primarily the yeah. driver? Uh, and uh, maybe I shouldn't say this on an interview, but uh, me, okay. me and my roommate, uh, should we ever have nothing better to do if we're ever at a point in life, we want to make a fake patent for the roadgasm. Amazing. And start trying to sell it on Shark Tank and... <laughs> Sharks, I have an op opportunity for you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and we want to not like pretends to not understand why it's a terrible idea i love that <laughs> okay so the first thing that struck me was the concept of passengers in these vehicles and they're not having a good time yeah they're only experiencing the haphazard driving absolutely <laughs> these poor folks they're they like, get the rough on. end of the stick both times this is not safe <laughs> this is not safe and this is not fun for me we've talked about this like why so you know it really does take a lot of the blame out of their hands because you're saying yeah oh, what do you expect they're having an orgasm in their they car. They can't help it. Now, I noticed that so the roadgasm, you know, as much as it can, it makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. You're saying these these bad drivers, they're just experiencing something wonderful. And who among us wouldn't almost crash a car yeah. in that moment? What's up with the train gas? Because trains yes. are a bit different than cars. Right. So I was uh, I'm from White River Junction, uh, mm -hmm. Vermont. Uh, there is an Amtrak train that passes like basically straight through town. Uh, it's really loud. It, <laughs> I was woken up at 4 a.m. Mm. I had a vision at that moment, and I, I made Traingasm that day. It is about, it's actually definitely the more inappropriate of the two zines. Mm -hmm. um, okay. It, it, it is about the conductor of the train who, a friend later pointed out to me, a conductor is not the person who drives the train. I did not realize that. I don't oh, think so. Yeah. I think that's a part of reality we can safely ignore. That's okay. <laughs> if, if we're going with the gasm-centric story anyway, then we, we can like issue a little creative it's fine. license, you know? Yeah. So, um, so the conductor driving the train as they always yeah, do on train. this train. Uh, and the the device is voice operated in this edition. Ah. Of the, uh, so it's it starts talking dirty to the conductor. Of course. Um, and the train, as it goes through White River Junction, and honks a lot. I, oh, okay. I can kind yeah. of start to connect these dots now. So the idea of the train gasm is that it pleasures the guy every time he honks the horn and that's the <laughs> rationale for why it honks so much that's the incentive well, okay yeah oh, that's the incentive. i was thinking maybe that that's the train signal of joy like the train is also getting Whoa. the satisfaction from yeah. the horn being honked that could be i mean the train speaks in this one essentially that's true there is some level of like yeah sentience to the train i guess so. well you know what else there is a level of manipulation Oh, interesting. Where the train yeah. is like, I can help you out, buddy, but you got to blow that whistle. That's true. And the guy's like, but I don't want to blow. It's going to bother people. It's 4.30 in the morning. 
I don't want to do that. It says, okay, I'm just going to withhold the pleasure you seek. There's an interesting power dynamic between oh, the, man, the, train the driving conductor and the train. Yeah, I never thought trains were such dicks, but now I'm yeah. thinking they might be jerks. Literal. Yeah. Well, maybe, yeah. yeah. I think so, too. I mean, I, I felt like that at 430. At least. So, oh, yeah, clearly. Like, <laughs> you were not happy. You're exhibiting here at this comic show, and I will say, as someone who has exhibited, sometimes people can come up to the table and annoy you. Various reasons. Almost none of them intended to be no. an annoyance. But now I'm wondering if there's not like a customer gasm in here somewhere. I actually uh. was considering. I was formulating this last night of a convention gasm. I, I was thinking about it. I like I, that. Um, we had somebody oblivious to their personal space in front of us, just taking up almost the whole aisle because they wanted to get a photo of somebody else. And you see these poor souls just trying to navigate around as they keep backing up and getting closer with their camera. And they're just, I just want to get by. And now I'm thinking they would fit in this sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you think it should be the person sitting at the table or the customer? Who is I think in, uh, in, these, in the series that you're presenting, the person who we tend to blame for the inconvenience or the danger, turns out that they are just being uh, you know, thrown about through through their euphoria, and so I think the customer has to be the one here I think so. because, well, I guess it depends who you want to see as the person in the wrong in a social situation. Right. Because that whoever that is, it could be the the tabler, could be the exhibitor, could be the, the the person buying the customer. So maybe it's both in different situations, like the 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 person who's selling but never looks at you or ignores you when you ask questions or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're just you know distracted because they got good times going on. Or the customer who who looks at something and reads through the whole thing, maybe they're just trying to stand still for a moment because they are afraid to walk yeah. while this is happening. That's a lot to consider. It's yeah. a lot to it. Uh, yeah, well, you have opened my eyes. That's yes. the thing. I finally like, I see like another color that I didn't know existed, <laughs> and that is hidden orgasms yes. throughout the world. And, and you said you tend to draw uh, comics about fish. Yeah. And this is just a leap. Decidedly different. This is, I think this is what I would call my vent art, so to speak. <laughs> okay, yeah. This is, this is my little side series. Sure. I, what happens a lot of times with those is they overtake the other one in significance because people are going to be like, I got to know what other type of gasms are out well, there. They're just fun, and so they're the passion project, and so that it comes through that you, know, you can see. And so that's when people are going to be like, tell me more about train gas. Have you gotten any sort of feedback from a reading public about these? Mostly, one of two things happens when people pick these up mm -hmm. at my table is that someone reads it, they, they get a laugh out of it, or they either put it down or they buy it, that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, I have also noticed that this, the roadgasm in particular, tends to attract people of an age demographic that are like way older than me. Interesting. Um, I, was, I was tabling at, like, like this was... This was like a little night market outside of like a bar. I just, I would notice it attracted a lot of old dudes who would ask me to explain what was going on. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I can't explain my art. I, uh, <laughs> I just interpreted it. It's up to your interpretation, like, no. I, I was also tabling at a convention where I was like, I, I told my parents they could stop by because they were in the area. <laughs> And my dad picked this up, and I just took it back from him. I'm like, like you can't. This you can't is read not that for you. Yeah, I, I can't right now. <laughs> I'm thinking about like the way that you said that these people that are older than expected gravitating towards roadgasm, and in my head, what I've come up with is that it tends to be the older folks who complain the most about traffic, and maybe they're like, this is an answer to my quandaries. Like, I can Please finally explain. understand my enemy. Yeah. Well, you know what happens with one of. Actually, one of, there was an old dude who came up with his buddy, um, picked up the roadgasm, and he was like, the roadgasm, huh? And his friend said, well, you've had plenty of those lately. <laughs> and, Whoa. and he said, oh, well, it's different, very defensively. <laughs> and then put, they both walked off. Uh, and you're like, I need more details. Yeah, like, what, what, is, what was going on there? I, I'll never can know. Can I well. please re record this? Yeah. Because I need to know what your story Gentlemen, is. Gentlemen, please come back and tell me about this. Imagine somebody did that, but with the train gasm one. <laughs> yeah, I there's a part of me that wanted to leave the train gasm near the train station. 
But, oh. yeah. I, I still could, in theory. <laughs> like a new form of the old Jack Chick comics that you just find oh in God, random yeah. places. <laughs> and it's like, oh, a train. Is this associated like, with Amtrak? What is this? <laughs> is this oh, the, my. <laughs> is this their new invasive marketing? <laughs> Oh well, my goodness! You, and you're just printing them, so you can just put like the Amtrak logo on the back or something like that, like it's an official <laughs> oh, release. That's true. I probably want to take my name off of that. True. Sure. Yeah. Well, you're putting their name on there. Yeah. That's true. Uh, it's from the creator of Amtrak, Don Am- Amtrak. Don Amtrak. And he has this Amtrak. new, <laughs> this new, this new idea for what makes his, hor- his trains go horny. That's true. Uh, now, Idea, bef- w- would you like to answer a mystery question? Absolutely. That's Fantastic. Right. Bring in the mystery machine and mystery questions. I can assure you, as one of the co-authors of every question that's in here, uh, unfortunately, there's nothing in here about vehicular gasms. Yeah. So, you know, for that, no we can be disappointed. Let's bring in the little quarter truck so that my, my oh. friend here can get a question from the machine. Go oh, a little bit more. There it goes. Woo! Exciting. It, it, very action oriented. It got it. Sweet. Please, what right. is your question? Do you have any hot goss for us? Ooh, mm. that's a good question. I mean, you've already shared some about the people that, that were looking at the book. Yeah, And that's they're like, true. you've gotten plenty of that lately. But it, That's hot goss it, already, it, but is there anything else you're doing? Any, anything share? else you want to share? I've entered the road gas, the, the Library of Congress people walking around. I gave them the road gas. Oh, oh my gosh, I know those board. people. That's amazing. We'll push that. Mm. Yes. This mm. does seem like the sort of thing that they would get very excited about. <laughs> they love anything just to the left of normal. And, I mean, obviously they love, like, oh, beautiful works of art and, you know, these things. But they also love these little odd ideas that very get sprouted unique. out and, and really only in places <laughs> like this show. Now, we've been doing these interviews for a long time. I don't know how long you've been making comics. A few years. Few years. Okay. How, have you been to SBX before? No, this is actually my first SBX. Nice. We've been here for over a decade oh, doing wow. interviews specifically. But for the first time ever, we've decided to add a gallery of prizes all oh. featuring our heads. And because you're sitting with us, you can choose from amongst the prizes. We have oh. a set of four coasters. We have a pot holder. We have a placemat, a deck of playing cards, a jigsaw puzzle, a tea towel, a giant blanket. We have a pillow. We have a keepsake box. We have a ceramic mug and a shopping bag. Adia, which prize would you like? I think the mug is really calling to me. Nice. All Excellent. Right. Well, there. You Thank can you. have that. There's a and muggasm for you. And we Thank will you. give you a little styrofoam container for it to keep it okay, safe. Okay, yeah, yes. and you are welcome to keep the copies. Oh, well, thank you so much. Do you, is there any, any place online where people can find out more about yeah. your comics? Uh, yeah, I am Sea Urchin Sunshine on Instagram. That's all one word. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm Sunshine Urchin on Twitter. Just to yep. throw them off a little bit. Yeah. It actually would not fit. Sea Urchin Sunshine wouldn't oh, wow. fit on oh, Twitter. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but. Well, uh, thank you so much for sitting with us. Yes, yeah. Wonderful. Thank you for having me. And have yeah. a great rest of the day. You too. All right, thanks.